Hey guys, I um, hope everybody's doing well. Um, and I hope everybody's staying safe out there. I, I uh, want to talk today a little bit about um, what was the key, the absolute key, and I'm fortunate because I can point to a specific key uh, that helped me overcome and recover from uh, benzo uh, withdrawal uh, and addiction and recovery. Um, quick uh, disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. I don't, I don't claim to be a doctor. And I have no medical background. Um, and I don't give advice. Uh, all that I try to do is tell you what happened to me, um, what happened, what it was like, and what it's like today, uh, and to hopefully through my uh, experiences uh, give you some hope um, for moving forward and uh, potentially, as we say in the rooms, living a life beyond your wildest dreams. Uh, I was diagnosed with general anxiety disorder at age 18. Um, I was always anxious, uh, always. I mean, uh, uh, trouble sleeping all the time and just always in that revved up gear where my central nervous system was always on high and never on idle. Uh, kind of like driving around every day with your, with your feet on the gas and the brake at the same time. Um, that, because of the exhaustion, exhaustive nature of it, obviously for me led to depression. Um, because it takes so much out of you, you lose zest and interest and appeal and other things that used to make you super happy because you're so goddamn exhausted from being anxious all the time. Uh, was prescribed Ativan and it worked for a while. Um, and you know, I, I consider uh, Ativan one of the one of the you know core four when it comes to benzos, uh, along with Valium, Xanax, and Klonopin. Um, and then I also was on, um, which is not technically a benzo, but I consider it in the family because anything that affects GABA receptors. Uh, I consider, I consider, uh, you know, a, 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 a relative at least uh, to uh, a benzo. Um, so I was on Ambien. So I was on Ambien to sleep, and I was on um, Ativan um, to relax myself during today, during the day. Don't want to get into specific doses, other than to tell you that, um, you know, it, it kept increasing over time, and. Um, you know, when, when you're fooling with GABA receptors, you are fooling with some serious stuff. Um, so many times and so many other medications we talk about affect central nervous system, affect serotonin, affect neophrenephrine, uh, and affect dopamine. Uh, GABA, because of the tens of thousands uh, of receptors in your body, not just through your brain, when you fool with those and they begin to damage and then get uh, into retreat where they, they actually sink back into your body and are no longer working because the work's being done artificially, for them to regrow and come back out, it's almost like planting a tree. It takes, it takes a lot longer than it would with some other types of uh, anxiety medications, um, be it in the opioid family or, 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 or the uh, uh, SSRI or SNRI family. So. Um, so there I was, uh, fooled with the GABA receptors, and unlike when you fool with GABA receptors uh, with benzos, not only does it stop working over time and you build tolerance and inner dose tolerance withdrawal, but um, unlike some of the other medications out there, it actually makes your symptoms worse. So your anxiety will decrease for a couple months, maybe even a year, a couple years, then it'll begin to get bad, and then it'll be an avalanche of bad. So you end up taking it exactly as doctors direct it, um, stuck to where you aren't getting any effects, they're actually getting worse, and you're addicted. Um, you are in a world of hurt. Uh, and I'm not going to talk about the physical part of it, because I have videos out on that in terms of what I've done, um, in terms of my thoughts on supplements, which did not work for me. Um, but nutrition, uh, smoothies that I would drink to get the right natural vitamins, uh, exercise, lifting weights, running, uh, acupuncture, massages, and, and God, sometimes I would take 15 to 20 Epsom salt, lavender scent baths, red hot, um, during the course of a night. So, I mean, there's physical things you can do and you can twist and turn and knife and sweat and shit and vomit um, and, 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 you know, have the flu times a thousand. Um, and then you can have, uh, uh, you know, some, some of the, the, the mental cravings and stuff. But the thing with, with the benzos, which was so important for me to understand, was the psychological aspect of them. Because when you mess with GABA, your brain chemistry imbalances so dramatically, like a seesaw, that you've got to find homostasis equilibrium in the brain, and you're like this. So you actually aren't yourself. You are a different person. Listen to me. 
you're a different person. What you're feeling as you're going through withdrawals from benzos and Ambien is you are feeling a chemical imbalance that is not you. Now, if somebody would have told me this up front, or if I would have researched it a little better, everything I saw on the internet was talking about how to get through physical symptoms and how to get through the mental peace and the cravings and everything else. Nobody told me that the biggest obstacle and why so many people have, have, have not had success and, and, and in the worst cases had, had given up um, was because of the, of the psychological and the brain and the thoughts that you're being passed to. They are lies. They are fucking lies. It is not you. It is not you. Please remember this one point, because once I knew that, that I could look in the mirror, tell myself I love myself, do affirmations constantly, and realize that this literally was the devil. This was another person talking to me. Uh, I remember in the first year, first year or two, um, curling up, sweating in, 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 in my son's closet in his room with his uh, uh, 3T six-month-old clothes and crying in, in a fetal position asking me why my son hates me and why I'm such a terrible father. Well, to be honest with you guys, my son's 17 and he loves me dearly. But that person, that imbalance, had my brain chemicals shooting so bad, like a hose that you can't get a handle on, right? that I was thinking things like that and I laid for weeks in my son's closet all day in a fetal position, sweating, crying, and, and having my tears drip into his little clothes when he was little. Why would I do that? I thought I was crazy. Someone explained to me before, Phil, when you want to quit this stuff and you understand that your soul and your body are that disconnected, you're as far from crazy as possible. You are as sane as they could be. You're going to be okay. But these are crazy, crazy, crazy thoughts. Why, why was I such a bad son? Um, why do people hate me? Why am I a people pleaser? Um, uh, do I really have any friends? Why was I such a bad partner, husband? Uh, 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 you know, uh, everything. And, 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 and the, 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 that's the first part of it. The second part of it for me was death. Um, I don't know if you've felt this, those of you who tried this, you, you, your brain chemistry is so effed up that you have, I had a preoccupation with death. Um, my parents were going to fall out of building. Um, I was going to commit murder and chop people up with an axe and blood was all over me and all over the room. Um, my kids were going to have terrible accidents to where when I talked to them, I'd ask them not to leave the house for the day as I was shaking because I knew something horrible was going to happen. This shit is crazy, but I'm telling you when you're feeling it, this is why I know now people go back to this stuff. Um, and I know this is why uh, I check YouTube channels and sometimes people have their uh, site disabled and discontinued and I ask questions about them and I hear answers like they're no longer with us. And it's got to fucking stop. It, it's, it's, it, it's horrific. This, the, the, these drugs. Um, if, if you're taking them, get with a doctor, get with a professional and talk about it. Um, I, I've never seen anything like it where, where people aren't here anymore. And um, it's because uh, they, couldn't, they couldn't take it anymore. Um, and now that I've been through it with, with the death preoccupation, all the crazy thoughts and dreams, all the people in life that I failed and every disappointment that I've had over the last 40 years. And how about when the doorbell rings, guys? You, you literally are, are shaking. Or the phone rings. Or you have to run to the bathroom in the middle of the night and you're scared to get out from under the covers because something will get you. Fear of fear. You don't even know what it is. You don't want to go to work. Just to, just, to, just to take a walk around the block while you're looking around paranoid is insanity. You, 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 just to make it. Some days, man, I would make it around the block and I would think I accomplished a 26-mile marathon. Um, and, and, and I know now, I never thought about ending it, um, but I under, I, and I used to say, boy, I can't believe people would ever think like that. Um, I've talked to enough people um, that have come back from the edge, thank God, um, that, that explain it to me and we talk about it openly and honestly. 
And I'll tell you, I'm, I would never be there. Uh, thank God for, for my kids when I was going through this. They were my rock. You need a rock to hang on to. Um, but uh, uh, listen, I, I understood. And so the, the point I want to make, and, and I'm going to wrap this one up on, on benzos, is there's lots of pieces to withdraw from this stuff. But it's not just central nervous system, serotonin, uh, norepinephrine, dopamine. This is GABA. This is all over your body, your stomach, your legs, your liver, your head. And once you disrupt these and damage them, you literally, especially in your brain, have, brain, have given yourself brain damage. And recovery from this stuff is, 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 is a form of PTSD, um, which I diagnosed with after coming off these for two years. Now, I came off quick. Like I said, I don't want to talk too much about that. But what I want you to take away from this video, and this is my experience. I don't speak for anybody else. And I have total respect for everybody else's opinions. And I'm not a doctor. But what I will tell you is that if you can look in the mirror and realize the crazy thoughts about everything you've ever done wrong in your life, um, the, the, the preoccupation with destruction and death, and the fear of something as simple as picking up a phone call or looking at the mail. Um, if you understand it, God, Phil said that on the video. He said I was going to go through this, and he said it was going to last a little bit longer because GABA receptors, like a tree planet, take a little bit longer to grow back than other stuff that isn't all over your body and such a key part of your central nervous system. So hang in there. I love you. Know that you can get through this. Know that you will get through this. And one thing I'll tell you is it's a love story in the end. I can tell you as someone that took Ativan and Ambien that on this day today that you're watching this video, I've never been happier in my entire life. I've never been more fulfilled in my entire life. I've never had better relationships with my children, who I talk to this stuff about now, honestly and openly, with my partner, with my friends, with everybody in my life. Um, and people could look to me as a mentor, as a leader. Um, they come to me for advice. My kids' friends come to me for advice. And I live a life beyond my wildest, wildest dreams. And I, I, I never could say, folks, that I was truly happy, ever. Because anxiety, depression, is the most brutal, horrific, I'd rather have all my arms and legs broken, and those of you suffering know what I mean, than to go through it, and I wouldn't wish it on, wish it on my worst enemy. Um, but there is relief. Staying in the present moment, staying focused on the moment, and understanding that this too shall pass, and all this stuff is totally normal. You're not crazy. You're the farthest fucking thing from crazy there is, and you're gonna get through this, and you're going to do what you were intended to do and have purpose for the rest of your life. And nothing, nothing will phase you. Laid on a bill, fired from a job, uh, a car accident. I mean, it, 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 water off, off the back of a duck. I mean, I'm telling you, nothing phases you. And you are just a magnet for attraction to help other people. You know, one thing I always said, people say, why do you do these videos? You work a full-time job, you, you, you have nothing really to gain from it, and I have so much to gain. Um, because the one thing I said was, if I can get through hell, um, I want to go back and take water to those folks that are still stuck there. And so, hopefully this is helpful. My one key to benzo recovery, understand that the brain imbalance, the chemical imbalance, like a seesaw, is worse than just about any other medication because of the GABA receptors and the population of them in the human body, not to get too technical, but you will overcome. And when you overcome, you have no idea. I mean, I spent my whole life like it was a black and white movie on TV, and now I see vivid color every day. And I can't wait to get up from work. Uh, and I can't wait to get up out of bed every day. And I can't wait to run. I can't wait to exercise. And I can't go, wait to go down to the beach this summer. Um, it's there. God bless you. You will get there. And if you need me, if people don't understand and you need me, I'm here. You know, I try to get back to everybody best I can. And if not, if you put in the comments here or something, I'll get back to you. And then uh, I also have a Facebook page if you want to uh, IM me there. Uh, I can get through to you uh, at, at that point too. But hang in there. Um, God bless you. Uh, we, 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 you know, you, you're going to do it. You, you're going to do it. And, and as I said before, if somebody just could have told me what was coming, once I know what's coming, I'm fine. It's when I don't know what's coming. 
and I think about these crazy dreams and bawling in my son's closet that I really think I can't go on. I can't go, it, the, and the pain, I can't, it's never gonna end. And I'm crazy. And I, I, the, life is meaningless, it's worthless. All normal, you're normal. And you've got great things ahead of you, and we need you, I need you, so let's do this together. All right, take care everybody, thanks.